Assalamualaikum and good morning everyone. Um, my name is Nurul Aynabila. I am a postgraduate student under Dr. Rail and Dr. Wahyu. So today I will be presenting um, my project entitled Film Spaces System for Enhanced Membrane Fouling Control in Chlorella Vulgaris Filtration. At the outline of my presentation. Moving on, so starting for the background of studies, I will start. My studies is about um, studies of microalgae to return into the biofuels. Why? Because microalgae can perform photosynthesis to convert solar energy to chemical energy. They store energy in the forms of oil, carbohydrates, and proteins. It is easy to grow, fast grow, and high of high liquid content can turn it into the biofuels. So why biofuels? Because biofuel does not contribute to atmospheric carbon dioxide emission, it has low toxicity and biodegradable, and it is also believed can improve combustions in the engines. Some of the risks also known, uh, this kind of biofuel is also known as the third generation of biofuels. Some of the gen some of the researchers believe that um, algae is the oil of the future. On. So, so these are the conventional steps on how producing biomass. We start off from the cultivations until the separation to get the crude oil. However, my studies will be focusing on the harvesting only, and it is believed that harvesting uh, consumes 25 to 75 percent of the energy from the overall process. 20 to 30 percent. 20 to 30 percent of the costs are spent on harvesting process only, and 90 percent of the costs are spent on the harvesting and watering equipment. So, um, these are the problem. Why uh, this is one of the focus? Why uh, harvesting is uh, chosen uh, chosen to be further studies and need to be explored in order to make it more economically feasible. So these are the technology technology available for uh, harvesting microalgae, and my studies is about uh, membrane filtrations. Why? Because it is low energy. The membrane filtration is a low energy footprint. It can it can give a high biomass recovery. It is easy to operate and easy to scale up, and we use minimum minimum use of chemicals make it easy uh, to be operated. This is how membrane filtration looks like. You can see at the uh, left of the slides. Uh, so this is the membrane panel, and the water will be diffused from the pores, and we can get high concentration of microalgae over here. So what is the problem with the membrane is? As time goes by, membrane falling will occur on the mem membrane surface, make the efficiency of the membrane filtrations will decrease over time. So, this is how the membrane looks like, where um, the microalgae solids uh, will be deposited on the membrane surface, and the efficiency of the membrane filtration will decrease over time. So this is we call as the membrane fouling, which is meant by the what is meant by membrane fouling here is uh, when the solids deposited on the membrane membrane surface and block the pores and reduce the permeability of the membrane. So this is um, the technology newly technology introduced into the membrane system which is where we introduce the air bubbles into the system so the purpose of the air bubbles is initially we want to lift the deposited fallen via hydrodynamic power so how the the air bubbles works is as it diffuses from the bottom of the tanks it will it will travels upwards um using the buoyancy force and it will score off the fallens on the membrane surface. So this is how we expect the air bubbles will work. However, since 
we cannot determine the movement of the bubbles in the tank and we cannot ensure that all bubbles have a good contact uh, with the membranes. Hence, actually, all bubbles are not in contact with the membrane surface. So we cannot ensure that the cleaning of the membrane can be done efficiently by the air bubbles. So there's a, another excellent invention from the analysis where he proposed to tilt the membrane panel instead we place it vertically. So the, the purpose of tilting the panel is what one, we want to improve the contact surface between the membrane and the air bubbles. How? By tilt the panel, actually, uh, we are increasing the drag force on the air bubbles and increase the cleaning impact to the membrane surface. However, there are still drawbacks on this system because cleaning only can be done at one side at a time and when we take the panel, we are producing the larger footprints into the system and it is complex to the operation because if you want to uh, clean at the both sides of the panels, it is actually a bit complex because it is heavy when, we, when it is scaled up and yes, it is uh, a bit difficult to scale up so my project is proposing another system which is instead we tilt the panel, we still place the membrane vertically and we introduce another, uh, we introduce fin spacer into the system. So this is the fin spacer that I mentioned about, which is the purpose of the fin spacer is as the bubbles diffuse from the bottom of the tank, the fin will be directed by uh, the pins will direct the bubbles to the membrane surface and improve the contact surface between air bubble contact between air bubbles and the membrane. So this is how we expect the pins to be done on the, the on the air bubbles. So uh, we don't have to flip or switch the panels. We just switch the direction of the pins in order to clean both sides of the membrane. So what is the advantages of using this? Uh, for this system is um, in low mechanical loads because instead we switch the panels, we just switch the fins which is a bit easier and use uh, low energy, simple operations as we do not use any uh, complex temperature and pressure and complex setup. It is easy to scale up and it is possible to use both sides of the panel at a time. So these are the problem statements. To improve contact surface between air bubbles and membrane surface in pounding control. Um, and uh, I will test the operational parameters such as aeration rate, rate, fins gap and switching period. And efficiency of fin spacer in directing air bubbles to the membrane thus using CFD simulation in micro filtration haven't been reported so far. So these are the objectives of my project to evaluate performance of fin spacer in directing air bubbles to the membrane surface through direct observation which is experimental uh, for work and CFD simulation to investigate the effect of fin scat on membrane pollen control performance to assess the impact of aeration on membrane pollen control and to study the impact of fin switching periods. So these are the scope of my studies. I am using PVDF membrane um, Microalgae use is chlorella vulgaris with 1.1 gram per liter concentration, and this system is a submo system. So, in these studies, I will do baseline study on the tilted panels to compare the results with my, uh, to compare the permeability with my system uh, later on, and I will also test the fin scap, the how the fin scap affects the give the cleaning impact to the membrane surface. Uh, how the aeration rate give impact to the to the permeability and also give some information into the system to see how it improves the cleaning on the membrane. Besides, I will also use the CFD to prove that the quality is air bubbles in here and the water is This is how the literature is only 
um, by the adult I mean. So these are the type of membrane. Uh, only for this uh, I also done a uh, literature on the memory development where uh, some of the teachers need, uh, improve the permeability of the membrane by develop a uh, membrane such as uh, exploring the time gap and bed hydrophilic particles using the additive and uh, that's not of now, start of one step in order to increase the permeability of the membrane. Next, I also study studies on the hydrogen conditions by adding vibrations to increase the shear rates um, to, and uh, adding turbulence. Next, I also studies about the spacer, but it, but the spacer uh, only available. Uh, and have been studies uh, so far it's not exactly what as my project do but uh, I also made studies on the development of the space itself where um, they focusing on the uh, shapes and the portrait spacer and the purpose of this spacer is to increase the shear rate and the uh, velocity of the fluid. So um, this is the module design that is almost close to my project. Uh, first, um, okay. To conclude, these are the literature made um, in order to increase the filtration process or harvesting process. Uh, first, I made studies of membrane development I also studies on the hydrodynamic conditions uh, of the membrane filtrations. Uh, spacer, de uh, spacer development studies also uh, be done and also the module design. So to brief about uh, uh, module design that is close to my project is first, um, aeration, uh, aeration uh, system have been invented, but however, the problem with the aeration process is the poor bubble contact so we can ensure that all bubbles have good contact with the membranes and the cleaning impact to the membrane surface is not good enough. Next, another excellent project uh, 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 in, uh, system is inventions by place uh, the, the membrane horizontally. However, the process is a bit complex and it is hard to scale up. And as mentioned previously, uh, which is the tilted panel, where it is hard to scale up and um, only one side of the membrane can be clean. So, it is uh, moving on to my methodology. So, these are the methodology of my project. Um, so what I'll be doing, uh, what I, I'm doing for this project is uh, I, we fabricate the membrane and we, we do the filtration uh, experiment, uh, which is uh, how the pins effect in projecting air bubbles. Uh, I also do the, uh, the experiment, filtration experiment to see how the rate of aeration impact the cleaning on the membrane surface effect of fins gap on the on the permeability of the membrane and effect of intermittent aeration so um benchmark of studies also been done to compare the performance of the membrane uh, to compare the performance of the uh, air, uh, permeability of the membrane and um, i also do the simulation to prove the phenomena occurs on the uh, system. So this is my setup. So the idea of my setup is in the, um, in the tank we place the feet in the tank and this is where the air diffuse from the bottom of the tank. So two panels will be placed here in the middle middle of the tank and will be sent will be put the pin in the middle of two panels. And this is the switching controller. The, the, the purpose of the switching controller is 
um, change the direction of the fins uh, in order to redirect the air bubbles directions. So chromium will be collected from the pot, uh, from the top of the panel in the in the permeate tanks. So um, the filtrations filtration flux will be calculated using this formula and the permeate collected will be also calculated using this um, uh, formula in order to get the permeance of the membrane. Moving on, so this is how the fin spacer looks like. So the air bubbles will be diffused from the bottom of the tank and the fins, this is how the looks of the fins direct the air bubbles. So if you change the direction, the bubbles will move according to the direction of the fin. So these are the setup of my experiment. First, uh, the effect of tilting angle, we just place the panels over here and the air bubbles will be released. Uh, this is the setup for the fin cap where I changed the, the uh, distance of the fins, the gap of the fins between uh, in the systems and see how uh, small gaps and bigger gaps affect the aeration, the, uh, the, the cleaning impact. And then uh, this experiment, we want to ensure how the fins effectively direct the air bubbles. And uh, also we vary the rate of aeration uh, to see how the rate of aeration, uh, how the number of bubbles in increase the cleaning performance. So these are the simulation works. I am using uh, ANSYS Fluent and the boundary condition set is surface at surface tension of 0 0.0772 which is assumed as water because in the uh, micro algae feed um, we are actually contains a lot of water and can be assumed what uh, surface tension can, can be assumed the surface tension of the microalgae pit is same as the water and the bubble inlet from flow rate is fixed as 1 liter per minute. So I am using the multi-phase flow regime. Why? Because um, this is can be assumed as the uh, multi-flow regime um, where we are using liquid and gas. Uh, the feed tank is, the feed tank is uh, assume as the uh, the feed of the microalgae assume as the liquid and the air bubbles is the gas. These are the, the dimensions draw on the fluid and the meshes uh, has been the mesh set on the on the simulation. So the purpose of the mesh is we want to get the higher resolution of the uh, CFT results afterwards. So the, this is a gun chart of my project. So moving on to the most interesting part, which is the result and discussions. So before we done the experiment, we are actually test the membrane uh, properties. So based on the value above, we can uh, we can conclude that uh, PVDF can be classified as as the MF uh, microfiltration membrane and suitable for to filter chlorella vulgaris. So this is the the result. The graph shows the results of the background studies of the uh, anxious, which is we we uh, do the filtration experiment for the tilted tilted panel. So we can from this graph we found that. Highest plateau premiums achieved at 900 liter per minute bar at 20 degrees of tilted panel. And this result shows that angle increased with the drag force and hence higher cleaning impact. So what what can the what we can read from the graph is um, when the permeability increase, we are actually increase the efficiency of the uh, membrane and as the membrane efficiency increase means the cleaning uh, process on the membrane is uh, uh, good. So uh, moving on to the next, 
is a fin direction. But in this experiment, actually, uh, we are doing three types of the filtration experiment. First, uh, the fin will be uh, direct the air bubbles to the memory surface. And next, uh, the, the fins will direct the, the bubbles away from the membrane. And another one is the vertical panel without any fins and just only aeration without any fins. So from the so from the results uh, from the graph over here, we can see that when the fins project the air bubbles into the fin space into the membrane surface, actually we can get 26% uh, incre increment from the non-projected one. So this is um, the graph when the uh, air bubbles directed away from the membrane panels and this is where when the aeration provide but there are no any there are no fins in the system uh, so from this graph we can conclude that actually fin spacer effectively improve the uh, uh, fin spacer effectively can direct the air bubbles to the membrane surface and it cle increase the cleaning impact on the membrane so uh, this phenomena, why the non-projected one has higher permeance compared to the without a vertical system without fins will be explained further at the CFD simulation afterwards. This is the results of the effect of aeration rate uh, on the cleaning performance of the membrane. So as the rate of aeration increase, the permeance increase. So this shows that the higher the number of air bubbles, the higher the impact forces induced by air bubbles to score out the pollens and cleaning uh, uh, can be done effectively on the membrane surface. In this experiment, actually, we as we test how the fins can affect the, the cleaning impact. So this experiment, we can conclude that larger fin scap leads to lo lower steady, steady state permeance and when the when the gap of the fins is large, which is uh, as we increase the gap, the probability of the air bubbles to contact with the membrane is reduced because um, after passing the fins, the bubbles actually travels, uh, will tend to travel away from the membrane surface. So this is um, how it is uh, are illustrated the movement of the air bubbles. So if you can see here, when the bubbles travels upward and it meet the fin, it will travels, uh, it will be directed to the memory surface. After that, it will tend to move to the center of the tank, and after it meets another fin, it will go back to the memory surface and and the phenomena is will be like that until it's released from the tank. So if you can see from this membrane, so the green part is actually the solid deposited on the membrane surface. So at 6 cm gap, actually the green part is a bit large and a, a bit thicker. So this shows that as we increase the gap, we are actually um, uh, reduce the cleaning impact on the membrane. So the green part is actually the irre irreversible fouling occurs on the membrane surface. So next is um, how the intermittent or switching period affect the cleaning impact. So from this experiment, how I do it is in 10 minutes run, actually for 2 minutes switching uh, intermittent, uh, uh, 2 minutes Will be run will be aeration will on the next uh, third and fourth minute the of the aeration and on the aeration at the fifth and the sixth until uh, and it repeats until the tenth minute. So after we done the experiment, we can we can we found that that a switching period of more than five minutes here the permeability of the membrane decreases further. This is because 
um, this intermittent um, uh, parameter is actually uh, determined by the type of the uh, type of the medium itself. Since microalgae is the highly deposited, uh, uh, highly contain high high solid, so uh, when we increase the time gap, we uh, we increase the relaxation into the system. We are actually promoted the irreversible fouling on the membrane surface. So we are actually reduce the efficiency of the membrane filtration and in, and it, it does not help in um, cleaning the membrane. So uh, moving on to the most interesting part, we will go to the uh, CFD simulation. So this is the velocity profile without pins. So I attached a video of the simulation part. You want to see how the bubbles move without the fins in the system. So the blue part is actually the velocity, the velocity profile. So this is the air bubbles. As it released from the tank, actually, um, yes, if you can see, the movement of, of the air bubbles is only at the middle of the tank. And the most highly high velocity can be found only at the top of the fan. Uh, of, uh, at the middle of the system. So, what I'm trying to show here is, uh, so this is where the membrane located, yeah, at the left and right side of the, uh, of the feet of the tank here. So, if you can see here, the velocity only achieve, uh, the high velocity can be found only at the middle of the tank. So. At the membrane side here, only low velocity, which can provide only low shear rates. So um, you can see that uh, the bubbles movement does not associate with the membrane uh, panel at all. So yes, this is how the movement. So this is the volume fraction profile. So this is as the air bubbles release yes it will it only travels on the at the middle of the tank without associate anything with the membrane surface at the right side and the left side of the uh, membrane uh, of the tank moving on so this is how the fins works as the air bubbles diffuse from the bottom of the tank it will meet the collides with the fin and the fins will direct the air bubbles into the membrane surface. So from this graph, uh, from this figure, uh, actually we can uh, say that the, the bubbles achieve terminal velocity early as, as it released from the, as it diffused from the diffuser, it on, it, they, they already achieved the terminal velocity and maintain the same velocity until it leaves the tank. And if you can see here at the green circle, actually um, the we call as the poloidal motions at the edge of the fins. So these poloidal motions actually provide the shear rates to the other sides of the membrane, and it can clean the me the membrane of the uh, the the membrane surface of the other sides of the membrane. So this ph phenomena explain. On the res on the previous results, why when we move when we direct the air bubbles away from the membrane, we can still get high permeability compared to the uh, vertical fins without spacer, uh, because the other side of the other membrane is help be cleaned by the poloidal motions produced here, uh, which it provides shear rates to the to the membrane surface. So the fallen score of by the sh by the uh, shear rates produced by these poloidal motions Moving on so this is how the volume fraction of the bubbles in the in the tank so if we observe it actually the red part is where uh, air, air volume uh, fully in the in the bubble so you can see here um, as the air bubbles release from the 
from the bottom of the tank, we can see only small part of the red, small size of the bubbles can be seen. So as it travels upwards, the size of the bubbles increase. And this shows that when the air bubbles increase, uh, as it tra travels upward, we are actually increase the surface area of the air bubbles, and um, it will increase the clean. It will increase the cleaning impact. Why? Because um, the bigger surface will be contact with the membrane and help to score off the pollens. So I also made comparison studies um, with uh, comparison studies of the field filtration process. So based on the previous study, uh, it is shows that thin spacer can give higher highest permeability compared to the previous studies. So this shows that thin spacer is, uh, uh, is a better is a good alternative can be used in order to harvesting microalgae, uh, filtration microalgae compared to the other. Um, had, uh, to the other system. These are the conclusions of my project. A thin space effectively induced fouling control in microalgae filtration. Small thin scale aeration rate of 1 liter to 2 liter per minute and switching period of less than 5 minutes offer better fouling control. CFD simulation proof thin space imp can improve contact surface between bubbles and the membrane surface. Size, size of the bubble increase as it travels upwards in the tank. Uh, velocity of the bubbles enough to score off the pollens. And uh, actually, the pins can give uh, polyhedral motions and provide shear rates to the membrane surface. So, further recommendations for next uh, uh, from this project is spacer dimension is have, have not been optimized, so maybe it can be further. Uh, studies afterwards. Effect of fins angle, fins angle can also be explored. Uh, simultaneous parameter optimization is still required because uh, maybe we need a rate at certain rate of aeration with at certain uh, fin gap. And uh, application of fin spacer can be also be uh, established for other applications. So these are the references used for my project. That's all. Thank you. Okay, next. Uh, well, let me stop the recording.